I believe I'm a man who has experienced rather a lot, from balls to banquets and everything in between. What I haven't explored is what's just beyond my doorstep. I'm told that there is, out there, a world which I'm not very well acquainted with. The time has come to leave the royal borough, travel across this nation, and experience the people's big nights out. Tonight, I'm thrown into the world of death metal. Today's journey takes me to the north. More precisely, Bolton. Death metal, perhaps it's a kind of heavy metal, very heavy metal, the sort of heaviest pots and pans one can find. An auger might be involved, I don't know. It's clear I have a lot to learn. I'm on my way to meet a death metal band who kindly invited me to their special night. I've been to the bazaars in Istanbul, I've been to the souks in Morocco, I've been to many civilized cities, but this is in a category of its own. But one I'm keen to explore. Perhaps it's open. It's open. Very safe neighborhood. Hello. Hello. How are you? Thank oh, you nice for having me. me. I'm Mark. Come in. It's nice How do you do? You. Ah, I see they've dressed up for me. This bodes well. How are you? I'm Mark. Nice to meet you too. So I want to know about what you play because it's completely foreign to me. We play heavy, heavy yeah. music. Just yeah. okay. Death metal, it's going to be loud, grind. but I don't really know what that means. What means? Compare it to films. It's like yeah. horror music. Right, but they look so charming. Surely it's not all doom and gloom. Thank you so much. You haven't told me the name of your band. This is crucial. Uh, well, we're called Fetal Juice. Fetal Juice. Of course they are. Lord only knows what awaits, but if there's any chance of survival, I need to get acquainted with the etiquette. We've got that one, obviously. That one's the, yeah. the, the main one. This is the main one. It doesn't really suit me, though. <laughs> I think that uh, definitely suits you. Well, at least I've mastered the sign language. I might actually blend in. <laughs> I can't do this. But I've made it this far. It's now or never. I'll just have to deal with the consequences later. This is supposed to be music? Oh my god, where's the bodyguard? I've never seen anything like it. It's not music, it's not even noise, it's just hell. It really is the most hellish experience ever imaginable. Get me out of here. Why am I having to wait? Why haven't Fetal Tooth started playing yet? Oh, how can making such a noise take so much practice to perfect? Perhaps whipping out those famous hand gestures might help ease me in. Oh my gosh! I've never been more desperate for a drink. Cheers. Oh, oh, I'm so sorry. I think I might have been standing on it. I'm sorry about that. Talk about a dichotomy. Now, whilst fetal juice prepare to take to the stage, I throw caution to the wind and befriend these metal-loving folk. The fuck is that? Satan! A lot of people think it's a joke and a bit of a laugh, but it's, it is that, you know. It is you that. You can have a laugh. And what, what's the point then? So you it? don't take it too seriously? Dressed <laughs> as a hot dog, mate. <laughs>
I want you to tell me about this culture. What is the meaning? Old culture. Yes, death metal. Where no fucks are given and we all must till our necks fall off. Capiche? I'm a choral singer. Are you? I, yeah, I'm a choral <laughs> singer. No, you are I'm not. A, You're a choral yeah, singer and you enjoy this. Yeah, I was at the BBC proms. Yeah, I was at the BBC proms. Oh my twice. god. <laughs> a choral singer indeed? Could there be more to death metal than first meets the air? And with new friends in tow, it's finally time to see the band on stage. These are the gentle suburban boys I met earlier. This is absolute lunacy. In such instances, however, one is left with no choice but to embrace with abandon. Total immersion can, after all, be rather thrilling. Beetlejuice! What an experience. Otherworldly. There's a certain depth to this death metal, something that rises up within and takes over. Ah! I feel like making that sound. You can. Come it's on, stage. all coming out of me. It's like a cleanse. I feel that every evil spirit within me is just <laughs> escaping and is staying in there. And I feel like it's an exorcism. It's an yeah, exorcism. Exactly. I have to be honest with you. I have had a whale of a time. It's decidedly a deeply immersive experience. And I really have been thrown in headfirst. But I've loved it. And I'm alive. I'm still here.